how did you first meet Howard White, which is the character you play um, in the movie? You know, I asked Howard how, what was that because I met him so many times over the years. He said we first met at the Michael Jordan golf tournaments down in the Bahamas. Michael used to do this, the best tournament other than mine, you know, I have been to uh, down in the Bahamas. And that's when we first met. And over the years, we, we kept in touch because I would call him for Jordan stuff for my tournament, for the mm -hmm. celebrities that came to my tournament. So, yeah, man, that's how we met. So have you learned or did you learn anything new about Mr. White after filming and um, playing him? in the movie yeah you know I learned I learned uh, a lot about him because I knew he was a nice guy because I would call him every year and bug, bug him about you know and he never said no right. I kind of have to call him back because we get more celebrities and he said yeah yeah we got you tough we got you tough right. but when we when I found out I was gonna play him in, in the part uh, he was so gracious man he had me talking to I don't know about 30 different people about his life and he and I found out he kept uh, in touch with all these people from childhood like childhood friends that he rode bikes with in the streets. I was talking to them. He put me on the phone with all these people, his high school coaches and teachers and, and principals. And, and he was class president and he was all American. And I found out that he was a great basketball player too. He could have went pro. You know, he went to Maryland State, he's from Virginia. I mean, he really educated me about his life because I knew him as a, a older guy, you know, you know um, later on in his life, but not his childhood. But he was, cons everybody was consistently saying, He's a great guy. He's a positive guy, and he's a brilliant guy. And I and I, and I kind of like, wow. That's why he, he's, you know. I, so not not to say that, but I, I felt like he's somebody I would I could pull from, uh, and I could relate to, and somebody who I would strive to be. You know, I, I was I, I strive to be like him. So he was so helpful, man, because I ended up had to write all my parts because. Ben Affleck went down to Florida to talk to Michael to get his blessings mm -hmm. pretty much and ask him, what, what do you want in this movie? Yeah. He said two things. He said, I want Viola Davis to play my mama yep. and you got to have Howard White in there. And wow. then Ben Affleck for years always told me he wanted to work with me. Yeah. And I was like, OK, I didn't I didn't you know, I didn't think nothing of it. I was hoping yeah. one day we would do it. But so he came to me with the part. But he said, you know, I said, it's pretty small. It's nothing here. He said, no, don't worry about it. We'll fix it. And, and this and that, that, that. I said, OK, cool. But by talking with Howard and all the research for hours, he, you know, I was able to, I had so much information that I was able to write my own part and put it in there in the scenes and, and Ben made it work and it, it was great. Oh, that's awesome. So also about this particular part of the story, right, of Michael Jordan's story and Nike, why was this you think was so important to share? Oh man, you know, it has so many components, so many things you don't know about, you know, uh, that's great in this movie. Uh, and then, you know, everybody know Michael owned some of the shoe. You know, you didn't know how that came about and all that, and you know, how that changed the business. So for me, I love that that part, you know, ownership. And I think anybody, you know, want to brand themselves or brand a business, you should watch this movie because it kind of show you where a huge company like Nike now was huge in the jogging business, but not in the basketball uh, business, and how they took risks and how they became who they are, uh, you know, a, a, a giant, you know, in the shoe business because taking risks and hard work. Uh, so that, but, you know, the family part, you know, Michael and his, his family dynamic with his moms and dad and, and uh, all that stuff was, it's just fascinating in this movie. And I think uh, people are going to love uh, all of that. My last question for you is, what was your first pair of Nikes or Jordans? Man, I remember it, it had to be, I mean, I know the shoe in my mind, but I don't know the year, but I think it had to be the 87s or 80, maybe even the 90s, man. Right. I had to save up for them, I had a job, and I had to pay cash, there wasn't no credit cards <laughs> back then, so I had to save my money, yep. pay cash for them, man, and it, 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 it's, I remember that shoe right now, they were kind of like dark gray, and we had red, the emblem red, and all that stuff, man. Yeah. So and now I'm not a, I wasn't a sneakerhead, but now I am because yeah. it brings me back to to that, man. It's, you know that them years. Where was what grade was I? How old was I? So yeah. it's a lot of fun now that I got educated by doing this movie. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, man. It. Appreciate. It.